Yellowstone supervolcano has a different history than previously thought, according to a new study by a Virginia Tech geoscientist. Scientists have long thought that the Yellowstone caldera, part of the Rocky Mountains and located mostly in Wyoming, is powered by heat from the Earth's core. Similar to most volcanoes, such as the recently active Kilauea volcano in Hawaii. However, new research published in Nature Geoscience by Ying Zhu, an associate professor with the Virginia Tech College of Science Department, shows a different past. Yellowstone supervolcano eruptions were produced by a gigantic ancient oceanic plate. Now, according to the image on screen, this is the location of the Yellowstone's hotspot track. The triangles indicate general locations of the Yellowstone and Snake River Plain age progressive volcanoes with ages shown in millions of years plotted on a topography map of the western United States. Now in this research there was no evidence of heat coming directly up from the Earth's core to power the surface volcano at Yellowstone. Now Zhu went on to say instead the underground images we capture suggest that Yellowstone volcanoes were produced by a gigantic ancient oceanic plate that dove under the western United States about 30 million years ago. This ancient oceanic plate broke into pieces resulting in a unusual rocks in the mantle which led to volcanic eruptions in the past 16 million years. The eruptions, he went on to say, were very explosive. Zhu created X-ray-like images of the Earth's deep interior from US Array, part of the EarthScope project founded by the National Science Foundation and discovered an anomalous underground structure at a depth of about 250 to 400 miles right beneath the line of volcanoes. Now this evidence was in direct contradiction to the plume model that was produced before. Now Zhu found the new images of the Earth's deep interior showed that the oceanic Farallon plate, which used to be where the Pacific Ocean is now wedged itself beneath the present day western United States. Now more detailed images of the unusual rock in the deep earth will allow us to use computer simulations to recreate the fragmentation of the gigantic oceanic plate and test different scenarios of how rock melting and magma feeding systems work for the Yellowstone volcanoes. So according to this new theory, Yellowstone was not created from hot magma, but from this gigantic oceanic plate. So what does this mean now for Yellowstone? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.